Listening to a newbie lesson from Chinese Pod. I'm Jenny. Hey everybody, my name is Greg. Today we're going to Hong Kong. Hmm, wonderful. Mm, I love the shopping there, <laughs> and you love getting a work visa there. I do love <laughs> getting my work visa there. <laughs> anyway, that's another topic in yes. itself. Today we're、uh, going to ask someone when they're going to Hong Kong. Exactly when,、mm. in much detail. So, we want to know which day, and not only that, but more.、Ah, okay. Listen in to find out. All right, let's listen to the dialogue three times now. Dialogue first time. 你什么时候去香港？星期四。星期四几点？下午六点半。Second time. 你什么时候去香港？星期四。星期四几点？下午六点半。Third time. 你什么时候去香港？星期四。星期四几点？下午六点半。And now the translation. 你什么时候去香港 ？When are you going to Hong Kong? 你什么时候去香港 ？When are you going to Hong Kong? 你什么时候去香港？星期四。Thursday. 星期四。Thursday. 星期四。星期四几点 ？What time on Thursday? 星期四。几点 ？What time on Thursday? 星期四几点？下午六点半。Six thirty in the afternoon. 下午六点半。Six thirty in the afternoon. 下午六点半。Okay, so now we know exactly on which day, what time this person's going to Hong Kong. Precisely, you would imagine that it's probably two friends discussing when one of the friends is getting there, so they can come to the airport to pick him up, maybe. Hmm. So it has some really useful language concerning asking time. Exactly. So the first sentence is asking for a more approximate time, right? Hmm. You 什么时候去香港？你什么时候去？ Okay, so before we start looking at how to say the more important pieces, let me first note that the very beginning of the sentence, 你，你 ，we always put the subject of a sentence at the very beginning. Yes. So unlike in English, where you say when are you doing something,、mm. going to a place, in Chinese the pronoun usually comes in the very beginning of a sentence. Exactly. Okay. So after that, we have the very important statement of when. 对，什么时候？什么时候 ？So literally, what time? Mm, yeah,、um, right. But this is in this case, it's asking for a more a broader, I guess, sense yeah, of time. Not specific to like at which hour. Right. More in the sense of you know which day. Yes. Ah,、uh, 什么时候 ？Now there are actually two parts to this little phrase.、Mm. 什么？什么 ？So this means what? Yes. S H E N. Second tone, M E neutral tone. Right. 什么什么 and you will actually hear this word a lot、mm. <laughs> because it's asking one of the most basic questions. Right. Again, it's it's directly translated as what. So if you imagine how much what is used in the English language, you、mm. can start to understand how useful this word is. 对什么 and then the second part of the phrase is 时候时候 So this is just a general word for time, right? Yes. Okay. So literally, what time? 什么时候？什么时候 ？Okay. And then the last part of the sentence. 去香港。去香港。So the first character here is the verb in the sentence, which is 去去 Q U fourth tone, and this means to go. 
对 ，to go somewhere. 嗯，去，去。Perfect. And then, of course, we heard the word for Hong Kong in Chinese, which is 香港，香港。Okay, perfect. Now, 香港 is first tone and third tone. Okay, 香港 and it means like fragrant harbor. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Very poetic, no? Yeah, it mm. is. But today we just want to know when they're going to Hong Kong. Right, we're not worried about the、uh, the beauty and the poetry and everything. <laughs> so we're all about business today. So what is the response? 星期四 A lot of students of Chinese Pod tell us while they love to speak and listen to Mandarin, they are a bit intimidated to learn how to read and write in it because of the complexity of Chinese characters. That's why we created the 66 characters series. Try it and see for yourself. So this means Thursday.、Um, we'll break this down first. Actually, the first two characters. 星期星期 So X I N G first tone and Q I first tone. Yes. And these actually together mean week. week. Yes. Okay. 星期 and then 四四 So S I fourth tone and this is actually a number by itself. The number four. Yes. Okay. So literally week four. 星期四，星期四。Or it's actually probably better to think of it as the fourth day of the week. Exactly. Now you might start to see some pattern here.、Mm. Uh, unlike in English, where there's a distinct word for each day. So annoying. Yeah, in Chinese, it's actually quite straightforward. Right. All you need to know is the word for week, 星期 and then you can just add a number. To it. So convenient, and of course, the week does start on a Monday. So, 星期一，然后星期二 ，Tuesday， 星期三 ，Wednesday， 星期四 ，Thursday， 星期五 ，Friday， 星期六 ，Saturday. And pay attention to this one, 星期天 So it's not 星期七 ，no， 星期天 Yeah, that's the only exception. Okay. Perfect,、right. and that's Sunday.、Mm. Okay, perfect. So we know which day this person's coming, but we want to know further what time exactly they're arriving on Thursday. The exact time. We're very detail oriented today. So what is the follow up question? 星期四几点？星期四几点 ？Okay, so we already know the former part, which is Thursday. Yes. So Thursday, what time? Now we already heard one way of saying what time before, but this. Second way of asking is very particular. Yes. Very specific.、Mm. And the specific way is 几点，几点 So that's J I third tone, D I A N third tone. Right. And this is used specifically to ask what hour in the day. Yes. So when you hear 几点 you need to look at your watch or、mm. your phone. Okay. <laughs> 几点，几点 Whereas 什么时候 is、um, brother? Right. right. It depends on context. Yeah, it can yeah, be yeah. a month. It can be a day. 对 And so on. But 几点 is always what hour? Which hour during the day?、Right? Exactly. 嗯，好，星期四几点 ？Now,、uh, pay attention to the word order.、Mm. So you start with the the bigger or the greater. The larger denomination of time, I guess you could say. Okay.、Mm. So, 星期四几点 Okay. What time on Thursday? Right. So it is reversed. So do pay attention to that. Yes. So what time on Thursday? 下午六点半下午六点半 Okay. So the first part is 下午下午 X I A fourth tone W U third tone,、mm. and this means afternoon. Correct. 下午 Now the word for morning is quite similar. It's 上午上午 Okay, so 上午 Now that is morning, but afternoon. 下午下午 Perfect.、Mm. Okay, so we know it's in the afternoon. What's the、uh, more specific hour of the day? 六点半六点半 So six thirty,、mm. or actually maybe closer to half past six. Yes, because this last character, ban, ban, b a n fourth tone means half. Yes, half past. 对，那六点六点 
means six o'clock. O'clock, six o'clock. Yeah. So when you want to say half past something, you just say, for example, half past three. Mm-hmm. 三点半 or 四点半 for four thirty、yes. or half past four.、Mm, so you get the pattern, right? Hmm. Absolutely. Okay. So you're going to Hong Kong at 星期四下午六点半 Right. In the correct Chinese order from largest to smallest. All right. Let's review the dialogue three more times. Dialogue first time. 你什么时候去香港？星期四。星期四几点？下午六点半。Second time。你什么时候去香港？星期四。星期四几点？下午六点半。Third time。你什么时候去香港？星期四。星期四几点？下午六点半。Now I wanted to talk about how many flights there are between Shanghai and Hong Kong every hour, and Greg thought that was too boring. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are as fascinating、lot. as flight schedules are.、Mm. <laughs> I don't know. So shall we just do a quick practice run of today's dialogue? I'd love to. I would use the key question today to ask you, and maybe Greg, you can just change it up a little. I'll see what I can do. How, Greg? You 什么时候去北京？星期三。星期三几点？下午四点半。Oh, very good.、Yeah. That's not true, right?、Uh, <laughs> I did not know about. I、that. meant to tell you, but、uh, oh. it had to come out in the podcast. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we hope this lesson was useful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask us. And we'll see you next time. 再见 See you next time. 再见 As usual, Chinese Pod provides an extensive selection of learning materials for this lesson on its website, www.chinesepod.com. You can access this lesson directly with the lesson number two zero zero one. So just go to www.chinesepod.com/slash two zero zero one, and you will find a transcript, vocabulary, and much more. The link again: www.chinesepod.com/slash two zero zero one.